What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, this is Hot Shot Haulers, and I'm currently in my garage right now. Uh, today we're gonna be reviewing and installing this Halo View 7 inch uh, 720p wireless monitor and camera system into our truck. Now this system can be used in a wide variety of things, it's very popular in the RV community. Uh, to have this on the back of the RV, to be able to see what's behind you, um, if you're pulling a trailer with your RV to be able to actually see your car go back there um, and it's very popular in the RV community but we're gonna put it to the test here on a hot shot truck and what I'm gonna do with this and where I'm gonna actually put the camera for this monitor is gonna be in a little bit of a different position I'm gonna be positioning it on the passenger side rail of my hot shot trailer so I can see my blind spot and also so I can keep an eye on my cargo as you know, I haul a lot of odds and ends, and being able to see the cargo uh, to make sure it's not shifting, make sure the straps or chains are tight, is very critical. Um, and this monitor is going to be able to keep me from looking in my mirrors to check on the cargo, keeping my eyes forward on the road. So that's what we're going to do today. So um, we're here in the garage right now to cut down on some of the wind noise. It's a very windy day outside and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get this put in the truck here today. So let's hop outside, we'll show you where we're gonna mount the camera, and then we'll go. Okay, so before we go outside and actually start the install on this, we're gonna go over what all comes in the kit that I'm going to use. Uh, so of course we have the seven inch monitor, um, we have the power source, which is gonna be a 12 volt power source for the 12 volt, for the seven inch monitor, excuse me. Um, they do have a hard wire, install option that comes in the kit but for this we're going to use 12 volt plug um, you have the camera itself which you can see is um, like I said 720p and has night vision in it and it comes in a very nice uh, mounting bracket which will allow you to adjust your angle of how you want to set this camera and over here we have the wireless transmitter this is going to be for me it's going to be uh, placed right at the camera mount. It does come with an extension if you're um, worrying about length. If you have a very long RV, they do have an extension for this transmitter that you can run to get this closer to the monitor so you get accurate footage each time. Alright, so as I said, it is a 7 inch screen. Um, that transmitter is going to provide inter interference free reception up to 80 feet, and it is, they do guarantee it at high speeds. Um, other things we've got, we've got the camera is waterproof and does have a 130 degree lens on it and the night vision that I had talked about previously in it as well. Um, it also has a built in microphone for picking up sound to make reversing a little bit safer if that's the application you're using it for. So we're going to hop out here now and we're going to get this camera installed on the trailer and then get the monitor set up in the truck. So here is the location we've selected for our camera to be mounted. As you can see, it's on the passenger side of the vehicle. And it's going to be facing down this side of the trailer for this blind spot and to look at my load securement. Now it's a little easier to see, you know, your straps and everything on your driver's side. So you get a little bit of a, you know, a blind spot on your actual trailer when you're looking to see how your cargo is secured, make sure nothing's shifting. So that's why we chose this. Uh, location over here on the passenger side. Now I'm going to get everything wired up, put 12 volts to it and test it out. Hop in the truck, plug in the monitor and see what we have. Alright, so we're up here in the cab now of the Dodge. Um, this is a Ram 3500. We've got the monitor hooked in, 12 volt power into the cigarette lighter. We've got a red light here that says we have power, so let's go ahead and hit that on. And look at that. I mean, retrospect let's see that's the size of the steering wheel and there's the camera so you can see it's pointing down um, the passenger side of the trailer you can see if you are looking to back up it does have lines for that um, and uh, you guys can't hear it probably but it does have audio and I can hear the wind blowing outside so I'll show you what I did for 12 volt power for right now to make sure this works and then we'll find a place to mount this monitor here in the in the cab of the truck. So we've got our jump pack here into the transmitter, which you can 
see is lit up, does have power up to our camera to do a test. This is the angle that it is shooting at. And uh, we'll permanently wire this in. We'll probably just go right down to this light, grab power from this light, and uh, hard wire everything in. Tuck all this up nice and neat, and uh, we'll have a functioning camera. So back up in the cab here, um, it does come with this very nice uh, mount that does have 3M tape on the bottom. Now, let me show you something here. It also conforms to whatever you're going to be sticking it onto, whether it be your dash, um, you know, your floor, your cup holder, whatever, it will conform to that. So I think we're going to clean a spot off right up here on the dash, and uh, we're going to mount it up there so we can be, it's out of our, you know, our line of vision, but we can still see it and have our eyes on the road. As you can see, the mount just screws into the back of the monitor, and then you can choose your angle depending on where you're going to be mounting it. So let's turn this back on. Comes up right away. It's very quick how quick the display comes up. You can still hear the audio actually of the truck running. It's actually picking that up. That's pretty impressive. So we're going to see. We may mount it over there in that little cubby hole uh, for like the little mat pocket over there in the truck. We'll see where it fits the best. So we did choose our little cubby hole to mount the monitor. I didn't want to be in violation or anything, having anything obstructing on the dash. Uh, I didn't want to um, you know, violate any rules with the Department of Transportation. So we chose to mount it over here in this cubby, pointing towards us. So it does have an angle. Probably can't pick it up on camera, but it is slightly t uh, tilted towards us so we can sit back keep our eyes on the road this is pretty much the viewing position of driving and you can see the camera with keeping your eyes on the road so i feel like that's a good position there um, the 3m tape was very strong on the back of that so now we're going to hop out here and we'll, we'll let you guys see what we see So that's going to do it for today on the Halo View monitor install, a wireless camera and 7 inch monitor. Now we're going to do a farther review on this. We're going to run it for about 30 days and watch how it cut, if it does cut it in and out. Now I have been um, backing up, pulling forward in the yard here to see if, uh, if we're having any issues with connection and it's running great. So I'm very happy with the product, the ease of install and uh, just the overall quality of all the components involved in it. So we'll run it for about 30 days and we'll report back. I'm going to drop a link in the description for their website so you can check out these monitors. They're roughly between $300 and $350 for the camera, the monitor, and all the necessary hardware to install. And I just want to thank Halo View for sending this out to us and allowing us to test this. So we're going to hop out here, clean everything up, and enjoy our weekend. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.